In this video, we will be showing you how to set up your AE3500 scent system and everything you need to know to get your space smelling great. Unboxing your AE3500. Inside the box, you will find an AE3500 diffuser, a power cable, a clear tube, a 700 milliliter bottle with the cap, two screws, two green anchors, a push to connect, a key, a spray top for standalone use, and a template for wall mounting. Diffuser specs. The AE3500 is a portable oil diffuser that can be wall mounted, used as a standalone device, and even connected to your HVAC system. It uses a 700 milliliter bottle of aroma and it can scent a space of up to 3,500 square feet. This diffuser offers maximum programmability with minimal service. Setting up your diffuser with oil. Use the key to unlock the device and open the door. Swing open the bracket and remove the atomizer. Remove the cap from the bottle and completely remove the foil seal. Screw on the atomizer to the fragrance bottle firmly. Do not over or under tighten the bottle and make sure it's secure. Once the bottle is attached, do not flip it over as this may cause the diffuser to malfunction or stop work. Push the atomizer with the bottle attached into the diffuser. Snap the bracket bar in place over the atomizer and close the door. Screw the small spray cap into the hole on the top of the device. Slide the fan vent up located on the back of the device behind the spray cap. Plug in the device and turn the power switch on. Programming your AE3500. Here are some of the functions for your diffuser. The up arrow is to change each individual setting. The right arrow is to move over to the next selection. The enter button is to save your settings or select the day of the week you wish to program. The back button is to move back to the previous setting. Current time settings. Tap both the up and right arrows at the same time. You will see the current time and date on the screen. Use the up arrow to change each individual section. Once you have changed the hour, you can use the right arrow to move to the next selection, or the minute, and change it using the up arrow. Once you have reached the desired time, press the right arrow to move to the date. The date is as follows. First the year, then the month, then the day. Once you have reached the desired date on your diffuser, press enter to save your settings. Hours of operation. Press the right arrow once. The day of the week will begin to blink. Programming Monday will place the same program for the rest of the week. Press the enter button. The one for the program will begin to blink. Press the right arrow. You will notice the hour of the start time begin to blink. Change to the hour you would like the diffuser to begin running. Once you have changed the start time, use the right arrow to move over to the end time. Change the end time using the up and right arrows. Frequency settings. Once you have reached the desired hours of operation, press the right arrow once more to reach the W or working time settings. The working time shows how long the diffuser will diffuse after each interval. Place the time in seconds for how long you would like the diffuser to diffuse at a time. Once you have reached the desired time, use the right arrow to move over to the pause time settings. The pause time is the interval of time in between each diffusion. Place the time in seconds for how long you would like the diffuser to pause in between each interval. Once you have reached the desired pause time, press enter to save your settings. If you want to change the time for one specific day, you would simply select the day, place the desired program, and press enter to save your settings. If you have any further questions or concerns regarding programming your diffuser, please do not hesitate to contact us at 305-446-1670. Also, remember to follow us on all of our social media platforms for the latest updates and special offers.